And so today we are going to talk about the number one most important skill that any freight broker or freight agent can learn. All right. And so I took some notes because it's really important that I cover these main topics here. So here we go. All right. So the number one skill that every freight broker and freight agent has to learn is sales. You probably guessed it. Some of you may, some of you may not, but it's sales. It's learning how to sell the skill of learning how to sell. Uh, I have long believed, even prior to becoming a freight broker, that it was the most important skill to any entrepreneur in any industry. And I truly believe that without that skill, you will fail. Okay? So <clears throat> first, I want to kind of clear the air a little bit. First and foremost, it's important that you understand that sales is not limited to the ability to just explain the features and benefits of a product or service. That is part of sales. But you have to expand your mind beyond just that limited scope of why sales is so important, right? This is a part of selling, of course, right? But ultimately, you have to think of sales as the ability to effectively communicate, All right? So let me say that again. Sales equals the ability to effectively communicate. That's the important part, right? That's what you have to understand. Because learning how to sell will not only help you get customers, clients, and sales, but it will also help you to get financing. It will help you to bring on investors. It will help you to build your company culture. It will help you to sell the vision to your team. It will help you to hire rock star employees and much, much more. The ability to effectively communicate, AKA sales, okay, um, is gives you a, a plethora of other benefits other than just learning how to explain features and benefits and overcome rebuttal, you know, objections and close, right? Those are important things, don't get me wrong. But what I want you to understand is that the ability to effectively communicate verbally and in writing and to be able to persuade and persuasively in order to sell whatever it is you're selling, a concept, a product, a service, an idea, whatever that is, that ability is critically important to your long-term success. If you want to have a long-term sustainable and highly profitable business, you need to invest in learning how to sell, AKA effectively communicate, all right? So, I mean, here are a few things that top salespeople learn along their journey because it's not one day you just wake up and you're good at sales. It doesn't work that way. I think anybody who's good at sales will attest to that. It's a journey, it's a process, it takes time. Um, and so there are five things, and there are a bunch of things, but I'm gonna share five things that top salespeople learn along their journey, right? Not day one, but throughout their journey. One is how to be self-confident, right? Being confident in sales is really, really important. But for most people, it's very hard because they have a tendency to be very shy and very reserved and very, you know, within themselves. And so being confident is very, very important. People buy confidence. They buy people that believe in themselves. I don't mean people that are braggadocious or arrogant or have these huge egos. I talk, I'm just talking about people that speak, you know, rather than saying something and having a question mark on the end of it, saying something that has an exclamation point on the end of it. So having that level of confidence is an important part of the journey and is something that, that, that salespeople, top salespeople learn early on. So that's number one. Number two is they learn how to listen. Listening is probably even a more important part of communications than speaking. I would say it's equally or more important to the ability to speak. Listening is critical in sales. Listening is critical in any of those examples I gave you earlier. Listening to your prospect, listening to your audience, listening to whoever it is that you're communicating with, it's very, very important that you learn to listen, actively listen. When people are speaking, don't 
Think about what you're going to say while they're speaking. Absorb, be in the moment, listen to what they're saying, okay? Don't listen with the objective of trying to rebut. Listen with the objective of trying to learn and understand, okay? So number two is how to listen. Number three is how to be persistent. If nothing else about top salespeople, they are persistent. They are persistent because they understand that they are going to get a lot of rejection. It happens. It's part of sales. They're going to hear no probably a hundred times more than they hear yes. That's just the way it works. Now they're going to hear no in a variety of different formats. No, I don't want to talk to you. No, I don't want to have an appointment with you. No, I don't want to listen to you. No, I don't want to buy from you. No comes in a lot of different formats. No response to a voicemail. No response to an email. No to your pricing. No to your proposal. Whatever the case may be, you're going to hear no in a variety of formats. So being persistent is really critical. So they learn the power of persistence. You've all heard it before. The fortune is in the follow-up. And in order to do consistent follow-up, you have to be persistent right? So learning how to be persistent is number three. Number four, they learn how to negotiate, all right? Negotiations is a part of sales, right? It's a part of sales. It is an entire subset skill in its own, but it's also part of sales. And it's important that you understand the, the core components of negotiating, effective negotiating, win-win negotiating, right? And so learning how to negotiate is something that salespeople need to learn on their journey. But as they learn these, these subcomponents, they learn how to be self-confident. They learn how to listen. They learn how to be persistent. They learn how to negotiate. What happens is they become better salespeople as a whole because they become more well-rounded, right? And so number five on the list is they learn how to close. Now, I'm not a big fan of learning of the word close, closing. It's, I'm not a big fan of it because it kind of reminds me of a sleazy salesperson, right? But you have to get that out of your mindset. And that's why I used it because closing is simply asking for what you want. The ability to ask for what you want. You do at some point through the process have to ask for the sale. You have to ask for the order. You have to ask those hard and uncomfortable questions, which are closing questions, right? Now you can soften them up and you can phrase them in a variety of different ways, but you need to understand the flow of a conversation ranging from building rapport to, you know, to answering objections and rebuttals to asking for the order. And that's all part of sales. And so, you know, learning how to close is an important component. So there were five. I'm going to review them really quick. One, how to be self-confident. Number two, how to listen. Number three, how to be persistent. Number four, how to negotiate. And number five, how to close. And so I said it at the top of this, you know, live. The number one most important skill that any freight broker can learn is how to sell. Whether you're a freight broker or freight agent, you need to learn that. It will exponentially increase your chances of success as a startup or as an established broker looking to grow. I mean, you might be a broker who's been doing, you know, 300, 500,000, a million dollars a year in revenue, but you're stagnant and you're not growing. It's because you haven't developed, continued to develop your sales skills. Okay. So, those, that's what I wanted to share with you today. I wanted to share with you, number one, the importance of learning how to sell. Uh, it is one of those skills that once you learn how to sell, you can go anywhere in the world, in any industry, and make a six or even a seven figure income. And as a freight broker or a freight agent, it can do the exact same thing for you, but you need to invest in that skill. And so just to give you a quick heads up guys, um, I have decided, right, and I, I shared this with some of you guys prior to this. Now, I'm going to do some live Q&A here in a minute, but, but I decided that I am going to release a new product. It's a new product that I'm going to release. It's specifically geared towards sales, and it's completely separate 
from my Freight Burger Bootcamp. Okay, my Freight Burger Bootcamp is the intro startup, help everybody get started and and get that ball rolling, start getting your first few customers and some positive cash flow. This program is called my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator Program. And it's very different because it is dedicated exclusively to sales, okay? Exclusively to the process from A to Z, how to sell as a freight broker or freight agent, okay? So I'm, I'm opening this up. I don't have a date yet, but I'm opening this up. If you're listening to this in replay, it may already be open, but chances are it's not. I'm gonna be opening this up to a very small group of my audience. I think about 50 people when I first get started in this first release. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open up to about 50 people. Um, and before you raise your hand, before you raise your hand and say you wanna be considered for this, I want you, num there's two things you have to understand. Number one, it's not gonna be free, okay? It's not gonna be free. I haven't decided on a price. It's probably gonna be in the 500 to $1,000 range. I'm gonna be very honest and upfront with you, okay? But I do expect after this initial launch, it will more than double, okay? So in this initial launch, I'm gonna give a discount for people that are helping launch the training with you because it's gonna be live. I'm gonna be training you live, right? And so that's number one. You have to understand that it's not free, uh, but it's very inexpensive. 500 to 1,000 bucks, I haven't finalized the price yet. Number two is at this initial launch and then it's gonna go up from there. Number two is I am not looking for anyone who's looking for a secret script or a secret rebuttal or some button they can push in sales to make them rich. If you're the kind that says, I wanna get rich quick, I'm not your guy, this is not your program. I'm gonna take this piece of my brain and I'm, gonna, and I'm gonna transition it into your head as a part of this course, as a part of this program. And it's called my Freight Broker Sales Accelerator Program. Now, I haven't decided on a date yet. I'm hoping it's gonna release here in the next couple of weeks during January or early February. Um, and so if you guys are interested in that and you can agree with number one and number two that I just shared with you, what I want you to do before we get into the Q&A is I want you to hit the chat box and I want you to reply with I'm in, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to after this, in, in this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm gonna actually send you a link where you can get on the waiting list. Now, there's gonna be a lot more people on the waiting list than there are spots, okay? I'm expecting once I let the news out, there are probably gonna be 500 people on the waiting list. Now I'm only gonna open it up to 50 people when we first start. So getting on the waiting list does not guarantee that you will be a part of the program. But if you don't get on the waiting list, I can guarantee you definitely won't even be considered. Okay, so, so if you guys wanna be on the waiting list, if you wanna be considered for this Freight Broker Sales Accelerator program, type in the chat box, I'm in, and I will know either me or my assistant or my executive assistant will come back through and we will reply to you and send you a link where you can get added. Now, in this initial launch, um, is gonna be kind of my founders group. I'm gonna be developing the training with them live, okay? And then I'm gonna take that training and I'm gonna release it later also. So there'll be a secondary release later down the road, but it will be at a much higher price and it will not be live, okay? And so I want you to understand, I did want to share that with you. I've teased a little bit on some of the Facebook lives and in some Facebook posts and some YouTube videos and some different conversations about the fact that I was debating on actually creating this course, but I have committed that I am creating the course. So you guys can hold my feet to the fire that I am creating this course. And so this is going to be released in the very near future. And I'm, I'm excited to work with you guys. So 